Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Hello peeps. That is going to take some getting used to it. So peeps is your new name. So hi peeps. Um, <clears throat> anyway, welcome back to the channel. So last video um, I was describing what I had done for my observed lesson. Um, I was very fortunate that I managed to do it um, on topic um, and it was exciting and it was interesting and it was fun um, for me and the children and I think had it not been an observed lesson I would have found it even more fun um, but as it was an observed lesson I was um, somewhat nervous um, and I, I mentioned in the last video that Actually, when you are um, you're sort of working up to um, this observed lesson, um, and of course it's part of your assessment. It's start part of you know if you pass or fail the course, and um, that can really get you hyped up. Um, I think in general terms you can only be who you are, um, but and it's good to be a little bit nervous. But I would say that. Um, it can the later on in the um, in the process of the placement i would say the more nervous you feel um i would say that i was extremely relieved for it to be over um and yeah it was scary biscuits <laughs> um i would say that in my first placement um I was I was nervous but actually I was you know I felt good about things and um, I felt that um, I was making steady progress I felt um, a lot more confident in this one I think as time goes on you you sort of second guess yourself um, consistently so um, what was um, it like in the actual observation um, and the, in the lesson how the children behaved do you know um, the children they do they pick up on things um, and something's happened that the has never happened in the whole time that I've been teaching them uh, you know children that are usually just so well behaved just went a little bit awry and, and it was just it was just fascinating to watch, I think, from a from an outsider's perspective, but obviously not when you're in the thick of it. Um, but one of the observations um, that was made was about um, the noise level. Now, looking back on it, you've got to really ask yourself, is a noise level the most important thing or is the learning? the most important thing and I think that um, you can get both you know you can get um, the children to sort of quieten down and focus um, but when they are excited and they are engaged and they are young then it is a challenge to do that um, and I would say that when you have somebody observing, there's almost a part of you that doesn't want to, um, I, I wouldn't say reprimand, but doesn't want to focus in on things like noise. Because to be honest, had I focused in over and over again about noise, I think that's something I would have been picked up on. Um, that I think the tutor would have said, you know, why are you focusing on the noise so much? They were clearly engaged. So I think as a practitioner, you've got to, you've got to weigh that up. Um, obviously, in your if you're in an open plan classroom, that cannot be the case. Um, but I do feel that I've got a handle on the children. I do feel that they're, you know, they listen um, when I ask them to listen. Um, but I think you know, it's it's strange. It's it's never the same. Um, because in an observed lesson you're so conscious of what, what will they think about that, what are they thinking about this, I try very very hard to ignore them and just concentrate on the children but um, that in itself is a challenge. So noise was an issue, the fact that um, the noise level was high and then when I was getting them to quieten down sometimes people not everybody was paying attention so it's about being able to wait 
in order to focus the attention of everybody. So making sure that you do use your waiting time and you just stand there. You know, you've made your signals. Um, sleigh bells work um, quite well for me. I've used a buzzer before, like an alarm clock. That works and I, you know, I have, I've waited and waited and waited. Now, um, the only issue I can see is actually when you wait too long, um, the people that have been waiting start getting a bit restless as well, especially when they're that young. They can be very, very chatty. Um, the other thing that was noted was transitions. Now, this is a word I was so confused about and I've heard it over and over again. Transitions. Transitions. What do you mean from lunchtime to class time? Do you mean from class time to home time? What do you mean by that? And what I discovered um, that it was, was actually the transitions. Do you remember in the last video what I talked about um, if you're doing stations, if you're doing carousel work, do you want the children to move or do you want the stations to move? Um, and I would al always advise for the stations to move if you can, but sometimes that's not always possible. You know, sometimes it takes more time for you to move six stations than all 30 children to, to move. So on this occasion, I chose for the children to move. Um, and one of the key points that was given to me, and I think I'll definitely use this in the future, is if you say to the children, um, okay, um, so we're going to be moving to the next station. Ah, ah, ah. We're going to be moving to the next station. Now, when you move to the next station, I want you to pretend that you are leopards in the wild and you're stalking your prey so you can't make a sound and just ask them that they have to creep or crawl or do whatever you know that kind of thing to to allow them to move from one station to the next station quickly and quietly and i think that is a a great thing. I, I, it was a great idea and something that I'll definitely be um, using from now on. Um, it was also identified again around this noise issue. Um, the fact that, you know, sometimes it was a case where if I'm wanting somebody's attention, you know, I may be raising my voice and I, and I am actually adding to the noise. Um, whereas if I do just stop people, um, and then, and I, I did it actually the very, very next day. I just turned around and said, you need to listen. Because if you're not listening, you won't get the important information I'm about to tell you. Shh, it's a secret. And when you had, you know, when I had them like that, you could literally hear them like straining at that. You know, and you couldn't hear a pin drop. Oh, you could hear a pin drop. Could hear a pin drop. Yes, that's a phrase. Um, the other thing is is sort of negotiating noise levels um, with them. So I, I have seen it before. Um, and I've seen, well, I haven't seen, but I've heard of people doing like sort of uh, on the smart board, some sort of noise level indicator. I don't know about that, so if any of you guys have any ideas, then please um, comment down below and let me know. But I agreed with them and said, you know, if you listen to this right here, this is level zero. You know, the silence. Level zero. And then out in the playground is level five, you know, and and working with them, you know, if they're working silently, they're working in individually with or with partners, the different noise levels and the expectation, but allowing them to buy into that, you know, allowing them to choose the levels and what that sounds like and what we should be hearing. Um, and just reiterating, just, you know, working on that um, consistently so that they know, yes, so that they know 
um, that level that is expected um, from them. Um, yes, and the other thing that um, was mentioned was to be be very precise in your instructions. I think by the end of the day, I was just exhausted from it all. Um, and I was, <laughs> I was telling them <laughs> to, you know, if you think this, then put your thumbs up. You know, so certain people put their thumbs up. Okay, put your thumbs down. So I had some people you know, doing this, and they're all confused. I'm like, no, I meant put your th put your hands <laughs> down. Um, little things like that just tripped me up a little bit, and um, it's as amusing as as it was to watch. It's just something to be mindful that yes, be very precise in your instructions because some children will be very literal um so i hope that has helped you out um that is the feedback and um i think it was um good strong and positive feedback um you know i was overwhelmed at the time um but looking back there's a lot to gain from it um so yeah that's it guys um hopefully on the next video um i think this is a really quite a long video so i'm not gonna um do the practicalities of being a student i will do it on the next video however um so if you do have any questions for me just let me know um get them into me as soon as you can um so that i can work on the next video for you. In the meantime guys, don't forget to be the best you can be. Bye.